Hi, I'm Aisha Khan, the CEO of the Canadian Museum for Human Rights, and I'm here to talk about the United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous People. As a human rights lawyer, laws are important to me. I feel that they do two things. Laws either catch up to where we are as a society or laws push us forward and set a path for us as to where we want to go. With human rights laws like this one in particular, I think it does the latter. It sets out the foundational principles that will inform how we work with Indigenous people. They recognize inherent rights of Indigenous people all around the world. And they make us a better society when we understand them and we apply them in the way that we work. Some say that the Declaration has fundamental or foundational rights. Others say that it's aspirational. That's where we want to be. Well, the only reason it's aspirational is because we're not there yet. We don't understand the basic rights that we ought to in order to work in harmony, in partnership, in relationship with Indigenous people in this country and around the world. So to me, the United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous People sets out the very basic rights and responsibilities that we have in order to advance our relationships with others and in order to protect fundamental human rights and respect them around the world.